Welcome back, everybody, to Gomer Plays The Legend of Zelda. Last time we took on levels 2, 3, and 4. I did a little bit better than I anticipated. <laughs> um, I, it does help that I also had a failed recording of the, that entire thing, uh, which was actually in two parts. Um, so, of course, you know, I was able to do a little bit more, a little bit better. Uh, but right now, we're going to go explore the East Coast. Uh, which unfortunately does not have the Carolinas or anything like that. Um, but before I do, before I do, you know, I want to utilize one of these shortcuts real quick. And we can go get the magic sword. I think, I, I, I that there is a, there are things out there that, oh god damn it, that's not the way I wanted to go. Um, there, there are charts out there for for uh, how you can go through all of these. I don't have that at my disposal right now. And I have not memorized them. <laughs> uh, so, anyway. Oh, wait. I've got to do the East Coast first and then do this. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, you get to see me fail. Okay. But that's okay. That gives me a little bit of extra time to just talk about different things. Um, go along the East Coast. Take any road you want. Yeah, uh, I'll take this one. This one actually actually will work better, um, simply because ow. Simply because it takes me to where I need to go anyway, um, along the east coast. I don't have to worry about anything else. I don't have to worry about you know opening up that other one that that has the uh, door repair charge guy because fuck him, I fuck him hard. You go in here. Oh look at that! Another heart container. Oh, yay! And we got one more we can get the magic sword. Oh, shit, son. Okay, here we go. Whee! Alright. That's one screen. Ow. Mm. And now the other one. Yeah, you can kind of tell when, you, when, when something can be... Wait. Ow. You son of a bitch. Mm. Fucking Zolas. And Octorox. Alright. So we've got enough for the magic sword. We've just got four heart containers left. Which means at this point, if you count them up, there are eight heart containers, one per dungeon. And then you've got the rest on the overworld. Counting the three you start with, I've got all of the heart containers in the overworld at this point. Which is good. Which, I, you know, as a kid, the one on the southern coast that I got, like, in the last video, I always had forgotten that as a kid. I, it's, I seem to think... Um, but I think I took this one to get over to the other one. Yes, I did. Wee! Ow! Motherfucker? Uh, oh well. Uh, I won't. I will not increase my defense again until the fi very definitely final dungeon, which, eh, whatever. Okay, so these crosses. The reason why uh, there are crosses all over the place in in on the shields and the magic book when we finally get it later on. Um, originally. Uh, what was going to happen was uh, Nintendo was planning to have Christianity be the main religion in Hyrule. Um, with, between this and the second one. And then, you know, things happened, things changed, and everybody was like, yeah, why are we going to do that? Ma Christians don't believe in magic, that sort of thing. I'm guessing on that point. Um, and then that's when they brought in, like, the goddesses or whatever. Um, and considering this, place, this game's place in the timeline... Uh, where the hero, the hero of time, dies. You know he fails at stopping Ganon. Um, it's pretty safe to say that. Um, yes, here we go. That's where I wanted to go. Okay, it's pretty safe to say that maybe the the you know religions just changed. You know, if you want an universe example, secret is in the tree at the dead end. Um, the dead end is over towards the east. We went through that in the first video. Now, in the second quest, here's where you're going to find the entrance to level 4, and you'll need the power bracelet for it. Uh, for this, this is the Lost Hills. You just keep going up, and it seems it goes on forever. Also, you cannot exit to the right. Um, do -do 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 um, yeah. And level 5, here we go. And fucking levers. Alright. Level 5. Sweet! Sweet buttery mayhem. And we are introduced to Gibdos. They're like Stalfoses, except they're mummies. 
Now... Ah, oh, shit, I don't have bombs. We'll have to work something out there, won't we? Ah, oh, fuck! I have no bombs, and I just ran into a trio of Dodongos. Yeah, I'm well prepared in this one, aren't I? <laughs> oh, lordy. Dig Dogger hates certain kind of sound. Yeah, well, you're not helping. God damn it. Although, I did see a way you can kind of go off to the side there. Uh, with the with Dodongo room, so... So if I have to, I can try to do that. Pulse Voice! Pulse Voice, in the Famicom version, you can actually whistle into the microphone. And, and kill all of them in a room. But here, main weakness is arrows. Arrows, arrows, arrows. It can actually pierce through, as, as you probably saw, it pierce through like several of them at once. It's awesome. <laughs> and in this game, this is the only game that I know of that uses rupees as ammo for your arrows. I, I don't know why. Uh, but I kind of want to keep this dungeon a little more self-contained, so I'm going to try and find bombs in this dungeon. Uh, -huh. uh, rupees. Okay. That's fine. Um, uh, give those... Oh, shit. Ah, yes! Bombs! Good. Oh, sweet! A complete refill on my bombs, too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome! Alright, so let's go back. We're gonna kick some Dodongo ass. Now I'll have a look at what, how that room looks later. So we have three Dodongos here. <laughs> well then. Okay, come here, you. Oh, motherfucker, really? Ah! Maybe I should have just fed him to him. I don't know. What is this room? Oh. That's what that room is. By the way, this is supposed to be a lizard, I think. I think that's what this dungeon is supposed to be, a lizard. Ah, so yeah. Congratulations, everybody. You were seeing me totally unprepared. Uh, but that's okay. It happens from time to time, I suppose. Uh, Dark Nuts. By the way, this is the first dungeon where we're going to run into the blue variety. Oh, a compass. Great. Yes, just, just everything I always wanted. A compass. Mm -hmm. Come on. Pole's voices could easily come in and in, in murder me on the ladders too, by the way. As you can see. With him, like, just jumping over it. Okay. I'd have to... I'll have to open up this way anyway. Uh, it'll just mean I have to do some backtracking, and I hate doing that. Um, uh, come on. There we go. Bombs. Good. Yes, I, I am doing it a little bit more difficult way. Um... Act, honestly, partially, it's to kind of draw out the video, because I'm going through these rather quickly. <laughs> um, okay. Just checking my time there for a moment. Okay. What's up here? Oh, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I also have got slightly distracted by my iPad. Apparently, two, two Twitter... People, Twitter users that I follow, I never thought would have contact with each other. Just like one of them just like responded to another one. I'm like, holy shit! I was not expecting that. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, here we go. Now just die, will you? Ow! And for beating all of them, you get more bombs. Of course you do. Uh, zol, 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 and more keys. Yay! Uh, now this, that's actually just a one-way door. You will, I don't think you... Woo, look at that. Yeah, I don't think you ever really open that door. 
I don't think you can. So to get out of here, you get to bomb the walls. Both ways. You gotta go this way, because uh, that's how you're gonna get to the special item. Blue, oh fuck me, blue dark nuts. And they do take a heart, even with the blue ring, which means without the blue ring, they take away two hearts at a time. Uh, thankfully, the magic sword can make short work of them as long as you play safe and careful and don't run into them. Okay. <sighs> Woo! There we go. Ah! That's such a pain. Did I mention I hate blue dark nuts? Because I think I did. I will probably mention it again in the future. Now, I think down here also is where I can actually get not just another key, but I think this is one of the areas where I can get bomb upgrades. I think. See, the bomb upgrades or, or, or I think money or your life, I think is strictly second quest. Oh yeah, here we go. I bet you'd like to have more bombs. Sure, I would. And there we go. Bomb upgrade. I can now carry 12 bombs instead of 8. Which is very, very handy. Especially later levels when I get a little bomb happy. Or when I have to get a little bomb happy, even. Okay. And more blue dark nuts, because fuck you guys. Oh! I got one, though. Ah, I stabbed it! Fairy death! I wonder what happens to the fairies once they're done. Do they just fly away? You know, I, I mean, I know in a kid I used to think Link ate them, and not in the good way. So, you know. You know, come to think of it, speaking of eating fairies, how does, how would that work? I mean, your tongue is like, half, your tongue is probably like half the size of its body, you know? At least. I mean, it's like, how would it work? By the way, I just picked up the recorder. <laughs> um... You know, go f go from potential fairy of cunnilingus to picking up the recorder. Good. Ah, that that's how I roll apparently. Um, but no, um, the recorder allows you to travel to uh, dungeons you've already completed in the overworld, and opens up certain dungeons, and it also works against certain enemies. Unfortunately, pulls voices not among them. Uh, okay, so now we go back through and we. Go back to the way I went. I was going before. Uh, the way I went before. Eh, there we go. And yay! So we have all of this fun stuff to do. More Dodongos. Fuck you guys. I don't need you anymore. Ah. Uh, yeah, I know. Some of you are thinking, well, wait. If he had bombs, why didn't he just bomb that area in the beginning of the level to begin with once he had them? You know what? That's a very good question. <laughs> but like I said in the beginning of, like I said earlier in the video kind of padding a little bit you know because I've been going through these rather quickly and it's like eh, I don't I, I want to give you guys the biggest bang for your buck if you will especially especially those people down there at the bottom <laughs> you know you know they're 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 paying for this you know you know they're they're paying to help uh, with this and I want to give them their money's worth I hope I hope I'm giving them their money's worth you know and if and if you're a paid if you're somebody on Patreon, you know what I'm talking about. You want to give your patrons, and, and well, okay, you want to give everybody, really, you know, the best that you can. Oh, I figured you could. There's an eye. What's this? Secret power is said to be in the arrow. In the arrow? This p arrow has secret powers? No, I know exactly what it's referring to. It's, it's just, it just doesn't say which arrow. Oh, nice! That is so nice. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh. So here's the boss, Dig Dogger. What you need to do, gotta have the recorder. And it will shrink and, and start moving around like that. Later versions will split into three. And with that, you get the heart. I'm going to look down here real quick, because I'm curious. Oh, a room full of Gibdos. Lovely. 
Okay. Oh! I'm getting really lucky. Yeah, that's really a dead end. So, okay, we've beat the boss. Let's go on. And we have... Triforce piece number five! <laughs> oh, yes! Uh, now, I gotta see about some enemy bait. You know, some food, if you will. And I can show off the recorder real quick. Um, uh, right back to level five. Okay, come on. Level one. Um, ah, this will work because I'm going. I'm looking for a certain store, actually. Um, do 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 do. Ah. <sighs> Yes. So I think by the end of this video, I should be at the entrance to level six, and I think I'll call it, end up calling it there. This one here, I think it has. Oh, oh. 100, 100 rupees for food? Are you bent? Are you bent, sir? By the way, I've yet to pick up a magic shield. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. I wonder what happened to the. I wonder if. You know, it would be funny if you actually had that option in this game to, like, you know, call the comrade, call uh, the Moblin's comrades and be like, Hey, he's down in here! What would happen, you know? You'd think they'd go in there and, like, you know, take him back to Ganon or something? Or would they just eat him? I think they would eat him, personally. Um, you know, just a little bit there. Oh, lordy. Um, uh, do 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 Hi! Uh, let's check out this shop. Um, no. Yeah, I'm looking for enemy bait because I'll need that in level seven. I, I guess I can wait another level, but ooh. So anyway, speaking of level seven, that's going to be up over here, uh, right in there. Um, don't need to go to it yet because, well, I, I still need to finish level six. Um, oh hey. I have went through here before. I don't remember what I got, but I've been through here. So through the Lost Woods again, because why the hell not? And I have not completed level six, so I can't just uh, whistle there. Um, here we go. And more Lionels and ow. Motherfuck. Now, I want to say, I don't think there's anything here. But you know what? I've got bombs to spare. I've got bombs to blow up. Let's check it out. Nope. Admittedly, I'm not trying very hard because I want to conserve them a little bit. Um, now, the second quest, level 6, is actually going to be over here and you open it with the whistle. Um, <laughs> just saying. The good thing about guineas, though, you open, you open up the graves, you keep touching the graves, new ghosts keep coming out. But these ghosts are invincible to you. Dude. I'm waking I'm awakening your brethren. Stop it. Okay. Once you awaken all of them, you'll know when you walk up against a thing. Boom! Look at that. Ow. It works. It works if you can do it right. So anyway, up here is the entrance to level six. Interestingly enough, it's the only dungeon that has, like, two entrances, like, two or three entrances. You know, it's a double-wide entrance here, and I think... Maybe it's a different one I was thinking of, but... Ah! I did not mean to wake you up. I'm sorry, sir. There we go. You have two different ways in. You can go in th this way, which is the big-ass gaping hole here. Or you could just do this. And there you go. Level 6. Here we are. And that's where we're going to call it this time. It's a little shorter. I guess kind of make up for the length of the previous one. Um, thank you guys for watching. Again, if you want to become a patron or whatever, just look down there. You can join those lovely folks down there. Um, and as always, um, keep an eye on the next time. And until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.